Welcome to this Hi, week's welcome to this week's episode of Exotic Trash Food Review. You guys, wait, is this weekly? Uh, yeah, it's going to be weekly. We're eating pizza. Pizza, yeah, yeah, pizza. No anchovies. Just but I gotta move this seat up so that way I'm having like an old. So you're gonna notice a very jarring transmission at some point. Transmission. Transition. Transition. <laughs> you notice a very jarring transition at some point in this video, because uh, we're not doing the food review today. We're doing um, it tomorrow. But the 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 local pizza place we're using, uh, uh, Jack and Doe's, maybe you've um, heard of them. Is it doesn't open till four o'clock, and we can't record then. Also, you may have noticed we hired an editor. It's me. It's him. I'm He's still kind of bad. I'm expecting that that zoom did on my face. I don't know, just like a no fuck you. <laughs> it goes over top of it. If that didn't happen, quit, quit giving me editing ideas. Yeah. In our oh, you know what else I did family. today, Joey? What did you get? Oh my God, you got your hands cut. I got all of them cut. Yep. The I just want to put that? this in here, <laughs> Joey. You, uh, Joey, watching this editing, you have to put this part in. Nothing else. Most of this footage has been cut, but I want this part in. Uh, hi guys. They definitely spat. They spat in our pizza, which is their, that's their own fault if they get a bad rating. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She went, I smiled and she went, oh God. Eight dollars, homie. Sick. You have eight dollars on you? Yeah, I have eight dollars on me. Wow, he's wounded. Hi. Hey, this is us. And we're here with the Mr. Monsoor. Welcome to Pizza Palooza, I guess. Pizza Palooza. That's right. So, <laughs> we're going to be uh, <laughs> looking at these two pizzas here. Uh, AJ's Heavenly Pizza. Hold on, we should show the boxes. For I can pick that up later. AJ's Heavenly Pizza in this box right here. And Jack and Doe's. Yeah, in this one. As you can see, the boxes are totally different. All right. Yes. All right. So, so before we start, I got some questions for you. Okay. So, we talk about food, right? So, what's your first pizza memory? My first pizza memory. So, like, why do you, like first like when you think of uh, pizza? Uh, the first memory I think of when I have pizza is when I was living way over yonder, and we got this pizza that's. It's called Corn City Pizza, and it was so good. Like it was, I was, I don't remember much. I was young. I was like five, I think. And um, what was so special about it? What was so special about it is because I just remember all my family being together at once, bonding over the pizza because it was just a really good pizza. Wow. What was on it? Uh, I think it was just pepperoni. Just pepperoni. You gotta, you gotta appease the kids. All right, Jimmy, your pizza memory. Uh, the first one I have is there was uh, this beach place. I think it's still open. Chet Matt's, and uh, we used to go there before we would go to Cedar Point because it was like right on the way. And I remember it because it sucked, but my parents. What made it so bad? It was like it was always really kind of greasy, and I didn't like they didn't cut their pizza like this. It was cut in like strips, so you didn't always oh, get crust to pick gotcha. it up by, and uh, that. It was bad, but my parents loved it. It was bad they, because of the strips. No, it was bad because of the like the oil and whatnot. But also kind of because I don't like grabbing into the middle of a pizza. I like that crust to grab. Oh, so you're a crust oh. person. We I do a, like we have crust. A discussion later. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to like. But yeah, show here, <laughs> no. But, but basically, I still like that place because it has an arcade in it. So I would just I put up with it because you know. Kind of like Stevie B's sort of deal there. More like a Chuck E. Cheese More sort like of a deal. Chuck e. Cheese. Yeah. yeah. So I have two. So when I was growing up in the 80s, go to Frank's Pizza, get a dollar. Ooh. Be able to walk to the store and get a slice of pizza for a dollar. So the whole gang would walk like four or five blocks. You could <laughs> the do that. Gang. There was. There, we, were, <laughs> we were definitely ditch kids. Like, <laughs> like we, you know, you, all the stories that would come about setting fires and stuff. It wasn't just me. There was a group yeah. of us. So we were definitely not pleasant at times but we'd go there and then so you'd go for lunch eat your pizza buy some garbage pail kids right cards you ever seen yeah. those yeah. and then there's another one that's called hilltop pizza that's one that our family would get and so like friday night he'll get home late for work so those are my those are the two pizza memories I have but then also did they did you guys have little square pizzas in elementary school yes yes, yes those 
odd rectangular. Those, those were always the best. Those always were. Friday they was were. pizza day. They got bad in like right. seventh yeah, grade. Just flew out my ear. So you could buy them out of yeah. Rock Brothers. They could buy a whole like. They made them whole grain in seventh grade oh. and it ruined the crust. Ruined the crust. Okay. And that's the best part of a pizza object. I, I, I disagree with personally, the crust. Personally, I'm a whole grain <laughs> kind of guy myself. Pizza crust? Pizza crust? I like whole grain. I'm, on pizza. On pizza. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so, I'm not going to judge. <laughs> you don't have to. I will. Um, so, also, like, so if you do you dip your crust in anything? Um, I actually prefer if the crust itself is, like, seasoned. Like, you don't dip it in ranch? No. Nope. You're a ranch dipper for your crust? No. So, what about, like, so if you go to Domino's, you don't get, like, the marinara sauce to dip it in? Uh, I get those for, like, the breadstick. But you don't dip your crust? No, no. I don't dip my crust. Wow. See what you do I'm is definitely a crust dipper. Yeah, you eat up to you eat up to where there's still a little bit of cheese and sauce there. Anyway, a little bit, a little bit of cheese. But then, sauce. what do you do with the crust? You eat it like when you eat it. Then, since there's a little bit of cheese and sauce left when you're eating the crust, that it, it works out. Yeah, it's like, like it gives you that sauce. I would always just pizza. dip it in ranch or something. And then there's like pesto pizza. So what? What? Okay. You ever have pesto pizza? I don't think I have. It's like pizza, but then it's like pesto, and then like white cheese, and then it's like tomato. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah one have, of those. Yeah. Pierogi pizza? Yeah. With pierogi. mashed potatoes. What? Pizza oh, that sounds delicious. With mashed potatoes. You ever have a pierogi? No. No. Oh, yeah. Wow. Pierogi is like. You gotta get us a hilltop know. pizza back in the. Back, yeah. Back in Yompton. Youngstown. <laughs> <laughs> you put potatoes, cheese, onion, right? Yeah. It's like, it's a, like a pierogi pizza. Huh. Sorry. I've had the uh, peanut butter and jelly pizza. I love that. Apple. From east of Chicago. Apple. Fantastic. Never had that. And then uh, also the one from Little Caesars, the pretzel pizza, where the base is cheese, uh, and then they put uh, and then the crust is oh, a I pretzel. Love that pizza. You guys had the, fantastic. Um, have you guys ever had the, the pickle one? I think there's one at Fort Wall. It's like dill pickle. Yeah, I've heard of it, but My I my mom I do not it. like dill she pickle likes that it. much. I think I've tasted it once, and I, I liked it, but I don't remember all that much. I can't like a one-time thing. Yeah, it's... I've never had what it. What's should not go with pizza? Um, I will disagree that anchovies. Really? You had it? Do you like anchovies on pizza? I don't like it, but I don't hate it. Um, I hate things that lose their texture when they cook. So I actually like pineapple pizza, but I, like I, pineapple hate, pizza that, too. I hate that the pineapples get, like... Yeah, but is it pineapple yeah. or ham? Um, I that's like called Hawaiian pizza. pizza. Yeah, I like Hawaii. Why is that one? Because the pineapple. <laughs> that's just it. But no, I mean like tomato is really bad. I've seen uh, in some. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Is like this is what the sauce, sauce is made tomato. out of. Right, but they'll put like tomato chunks on the pizza and cook it. And and I've heard in South America they do like corn. They'll yes. put corn on there. I would not like that. It's not too bad. It's not that bad. Have you ever? Uh, what was I going to say now? Uh, just lost my train of thought. Uh, I understand. Worst, worst pizza you ever had. Oh, no names man. of any companies coming. You guys in trouble. Oh, oh I don't think we'll get in trouble. Um, he has a food review. If it's bad, we have to yeah, say, we have it. To say it's bad. Worst pizza is objectively Which Chuck E. Cheese. Okay. Chuck. Why? I don't I've remember. never eaten Chuck E. Cheese. Because it's. I don't think they cook it there. Like I think they're all frozen pizzas <laughs> that they reheat. The way the pizza is, it's because like a good pizza, you know, they get a cheese pull. Kinda, yeah. The cheese is nice like that. Like, uh, okay. But uh, like Chuck E. Cheese's is kind of one block. It's kind of like if you took a frozen slice or a, a piece of pizza you put in the fridge and didn't reheat it and eat it, which I do love doing. But theirs is heated up and it's like that. It kind of it, it feels like uh, just chewing on a ball of preservatives. It also kind of tastes like pesticide. How many pesticides have you eaten? Anyways. <laughs> Really? <laughs> I don't think I've really ever had a bad pizza. Like, so, really? Yeah. I think I've been pretty blessed with, like, good pizzas. So if you're at the frozen food aisle, what's your go-to pizza? Because there are different levels. You get it's your high end. Because your... it's red not delivery. Because there's your top. <laughs> I'm a red bearing guy. There's a top level, like the California Pizza Kitchen, which yeah. is overrated, personally, I think. <laughs> Yeah. Having eaten one before, and, yeah, and then you got like frozen pizza. get your Red Baron, and then you get like the some of the like Kroger brand. Kroger like, brand. <laughs> some of the bad. Aldi has a good frozen pizza. Really? Yeah, Aldi brand pizza. They've got one called Margarita Pizza, which you don't like. There's tomatoes on it. So that's yeah, the one with the tomato, the basil. Anyways, 
Yeah. You guys are getting hungry, aren't you? No. So. But I'm ready. We're professional testers. We're pro- yeah. We don't. We can't come with a uh, with with hunger in mind. Well, There's I was kind of wondering because I did watch your KFC one. So. Well, Tim was the only one that was hungry. Tim was very. Hungry. Tim was very hungry. He didn't so, care. Why'd you pick these two? We got Jack and Doze. We got AJ. So was downtown few. Think? Yeah, I think so. Think yeah, I a, think so. Wait, 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 there defi- really? Yeah, there's definitely. There's a turf war between yeah, AJ's during and Jack lunch, and Doe's? During lunch Ooh. at the high school, both of these are open, yeah. and these are the two main pizza places that people go to. So who gets more business here? Oh, uh, AJ's. AJ's definitely. By far. There's a line going across, around the block. Why? Is it because they have a better deal? Um, personally? I wouldn't say so. Uh, the AJ's pizza is always thicker, and the Jack and Doe's pizza is thinner, and. The Jack and Do's pizza, despite, like, I think it's actually cheaper per slice, isn't it? Yes, the Jack and Do's is, but AJ's has the advantage of they make jumbos. Uh, so the slices, you get a big rectangles. Because gotcha. I actually I like both. I don't, this yeah. is going to be tough. I don't know. Um, it would have been easier to do, like, a, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. So Jack and Do's and AJ's. AJ's. Well, let's get a camera shot. I'll, I'll hold the pizzas up for a shorter. Well, okay. you can just take one or whatever you want to do. Yeah. So which one we start with? Get that up. This is the, an yeah, AJ's let's pizza. AJ's and then just show Jack and Dozen what about to So you always get your eyes first. So when we know this is a pepperoni, right? We're just going to yeah. reach the, in socially distantly. All right. <laughs> so it came apart pretty easy. So it's cut oh, pretty yeah. well. Very so this well is a pepperoni. Part. So they've got yeah. their. Uh, so the thing I like about AJ's is that they actually hide their pepperonis. But yeah, but it could be an issue though. You don't want to eat pepperoni. Well, I'm saying like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't peel off the pepperonis. But I think it gives them the distinct advantage of uh, when you cook the pepperoni like that, you keep everything inside. You know, all the juice, pepperoni juice. But I do like get a little bit of like a kind of a char on the top, right? So, yeah, oh yeah, so you know it's cooked. You no, know it's cooked. You I, know it's not like. And I think if, uh, if you ever dough. participate in a like, that one year they had like. Pizza Palooza downtown, they had a pizza tasting. Mm. AJ's has a distinct sauce. It does. It has it does. sugar in it. That's I what believe they, all, what they, they all have sugar. I believe in what it. they do is oh. they actually pour pineapple juice into like the sauce. Oh, really? Is that, you yeah. just give away their secret? I, well, that's what I've been told by we're people get, who work We're going to get cease and desist. <laughs> cease and desist. <laughs> Stop. All right. So, so why'd you pick a pepperoni? It's a classic, Baseline. common pizza. You know, everybody. I can't name one person that doesn't like a pepperoni pizza. Uh, vegan. vegan. <laughs> At the same well, they time. don't like pizza either because there's cheese on it. Good point. He's got us there. Okay, so we're gonna try <laughs> the next this. one's gonna be cheeseless. Whoa! Whoa! Sweet. Mm-hmm. I can't help but just love how thick the pizza is, because I feel like yeah, the bread's fluffy. It's very fluffy, and it's it just complements the sweetness. I think. It makes you think you're like biting into like a tasty pastry or something like that. Wow. Okay. But in pizza form. <clears throat> if you're a so uh, peanut butter and jelly pizza. I've never had that. They're yet. so good. But uh, if you're a person who likes a, a heavily sauced pizza, I know my father likes his pizza to be like almost taller because of how much sauce is on it. Like a deep dish. Yeah. I, this isn't quite a saucy pizza. That'd be a Chicago style. Which they used to have a nice Chicago. Yeah, we did. It was at the mall. Yeah, always where Piku is. It's good. It's got a little sweet. Mm-hmm. Um, I just had a jumbo uh, Monday <laughs> from AJ's. I will say, I'm not really uh, tasting the pepperoni as much as I thought I would. No. Yeah, I'm really not. Which is why I think it's smart of them to like tuck it under the cheese. Because you're still getting the pepperoni, but it's more like a hint of pepperoni. Yeah, but do people get the pepperoni for the taste? I do. I like a little bit of spice. Or not the texture. You're going to pizza where the pepperoni just kind of crust right on top. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, like how sometimes you'll like form a little Oh, that bite, I got a lot pepperoni of pepperoni. Bowl. I just don't think there's a lot of pepperoni per slice. Well, we know. also did get let's really do a, uh, Let's do a test of that. <laughs> you're gonna... I'm going to di- dissect this slice. There's one pepperoni, and then at the bottom of the slice, there's a second pepperoni. That's it. There's two pepperonis per slice. It probably is by design because it's easy to just set two pepperonis. Four slices are in there. I might have another one. Yeah, there's a free one. Yeah. 
Oh, now, this is perfect. something I would like to point out is that the crust, I thought was- Good texture. It was really good. Yeah. It, it still had that same fluffiness, but it was also a little tough. Not overcooked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's the like, char really adds a good flavor. It really does. Yeah, but it's not burning the bottom, you're gonna burn some pizza on the bottom. Yeah, that's it's just, I almost like throw it out every time. <laughs> Only when I make frozen pizzas. Exactly. Does that ever happen? Could you use a pizza stone? I have a pizza stone. You would. You're fancy like that. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's good. That's a solid pizza. I'm so glad you guys aren't swearing. I don't swear in the videos. <laughs> I watched the KFC one. I was like, oh boy. Anyways. I saw Dante. Oh, you haven't seen the episodes of the no. podcast before you were on? No, I yeah, those, those never, never watch them. Anyways, so how many slices? Normally, it's two. Yeah, I have a small stomach. That's it? Only two pieces? Yeah, I mean, I don't Even have a, a small stomach, but like. You're on a jumbo? Now, this is where Jimmy and I differ because I have a very large stomach. Yeah. I don't have much room to store my stomach in here because it's I all like remember it's made about two liters. I, <laughs> I eat like five slices of jumbo, which is like I, I'd say about that big on average, mm -hmm. like that big. <laughs> Just showing the camera, and yeah, I eat about five of those before I'm like, you know what, maybe I should stop. I'm, my, not, I'm not full. It's just like I should stop. My biggest issue is usually that uh, I like to take a drink after almost every single bite. And I'll usually have like a like a soda or something, and that I think kind of fills me up a little. You bit. mean pop? No, is it is it pop? I don't, I don't, it it I, is pop, pop here. We're in Ohio. Say, I don't know where we get soda from. That's, that's another discussion. <laughs> that's Ooh, a, that's a whole okay. soda versus pop. So when you're eating a pizza, what's your favorite pop to accompany you with the pizza? Dr Pepper. I'm also a Dr Pepper fan myself. I don't drink pop, but uh, I think you had to pick. Uh, probably Pepsi. Really, I had him for a Coke man. I was gonna say Coke. I, right I had before you for said a Coke Pepsi. guy. Also. Why? Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. You just sometimes like you just Pepsi guy. sometimes people give off a, a, a Coke what, what, vibe. What, 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 what? Coke vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Monsoor definitely gives off a Coke vibe. <laughs> In a good way. In a good way. <laughs> Cut that out. Oh, <laughs> Cut it. Bleep it. Just bleep it. Bleep it. Um, <laughs> Monsoor looks like a beep guy. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I so much. What's the difference between Coke and Pepsi? What's a Pepsi person? So I've actually read into this, and I think I agree with it. On the internet? Yes. Okay. Uh, so Coke, you know, is really old. <laughs> awesome. So, <laughs> no, so what I'm saying is it would have been really hard to get it cold. So Coke is really kind of designed to be drank warm. And Pepsi is designed to be drank cold. So the difference in flavor comes it from... That's a whole other no, they have a completely different flavor. But if you drink Coke warm, it's actually really good. But Pepsi warm is awful. That's true. Then if you go to other countries, they all taste different because they don't use the sugar. And so yeah, like, they use cane sugar, don't they? It just depends where you're at. And then, like, um, they have their own versions of, like... But actually, if you travel, most places have... <clears throat> excuse me. You can see mostly Coke. Yeah. You know, yeah. I didn't see a Crystal Pepsi until I went to Canada a couple of years ago. Oh, was oh, it a like clear they, one? Yeah. 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 Fantastic. And like they commonly, cool. it's like what? commonly sold there. Those came out like when I was like in high school back in the 90s. It was like one of those failed things. But anyways. They're still being sold in Canada. Like why? You shouldn't drink any of it. So overall, anyways, the AJ's. We probably should have saved some AJ's to cross-reference with Jack and Doe's. Well, we got to cleanse the palate here, so. Um, <laughs> so texture. We agree it's pretty good. I Taste. Agree. Oh yeah. Very good. What other thing I said? Presentation. Presentation. Yeah. Pretty good presentation of the pretty box. Good presentation with the box, like the box itself, and also with the slices of pizza. So an AJ's story. AJ's story. AJ's pizza story. Do you think the time you had AJ's remember uh trip to Nashville? Oh I got it. Okay. Good one. Even appropriate. I'm trying to think Oh it's appropriate. After a game, yeah, like you guys that watch the lunch. Super Bowl, you always get a, or a good lunch story. Yeah, I don't know if I have any good lunch stories. Um, were, were, you, were you be one that would walk down? I swear, I think I've, I've got it, you're involved in it, so, so you just went to yeah, you one. go with that. Yeah, one, I'll, I'll, I'll see okay. if I agree with you. Guys. So, my favorite one, and this is because of the way Jimmy acted. So, Jimmy and I, we went out to lunch, we go to AJ during school, by the during way, school when we were in school. <laughs> Just had to clear oh, that up there. <laughs> and uh, so there's this 
one kid, I'm not going to name no any names. names, obviously. No. Uh, he tries to come sit with us. And then Jimmy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Jimmy. Don't, you guys weren't mean, were you? No, Jimmy was mean. I wasn't mean. Okay, anyways. I wasn't person, mean. So this person who watched this podcast, so go ahead. Jimmy just tore this kid apart. And, like, I felt so bad just sitting there watching. But looking back on it, it was kind of funny. Now, was a kid the friend of yours? No. No. Okay. Now, I see the box the reasoning behind this one is actually because there was three of us sitting down. We had a fourth guy coming. Seeing the yeah. content at the bottom. It's a you little greasy, us. but not too right. bad. What'd you expect? Semi greasy. Good. But uh, cool. basically, for reference, we had someone still in line. There was three of us sitting there, and then the fourth kid sits down. I'm like, hey man, this seat's you know taken. Our guy's in line right there, and he was just like, nah, it's not. And I, and I was like, oh, so it wasn't like, me? it wasn't like, it wasn't like he said, I'm like, hi, can I have lunch with you guys? And I was like, get out of here. It was like, hey man, I got somebody coming so over. So it wasn't something like you'd see like in a teenage like drama a bully movie. movie. Yeah. Like, no, it comes, was, okay. it wasn't, you weren't being a bully. No, it was more like I had to, I kind of had to put this kid in his place. Cause it's like, hey man, I'm saving this seat. You know, the guy's right there. Sorry. And he's just like, no, he and it's like, down. excuse me. What? Yeah, no, that guy ended up leaving. Okay. So that's your AJ story? I don't know if I'd go That's with my that. Age. That That's seems kind of rude. Um, I don't know. Oh, I remember uh, when they first got pepper flakes during lunch, and that revolutionized. <laughs> oh, yeah, you one of those? Pepper yeah, flakes. I like pepper I flakes. love red pepper I put flakes. Parmesan on mine. I do cheese both. Cheese on cheese. If I can get cheese both, it's good. But I that revolutionized I like it because I was getting sick of AJ's because I'd eaten there every day for like three, what, three months? first like three months of school we only ate at aj's yeah i was getting real sick of it but then they introduced the pepper flakes and it was like a whole new pizza it was like a whole new pizza because it was sweet and spicy depending on how much pepper well i've put, put the whole pack of pepper flakes per slice so was it a packet yeah, yeah they it wasn't were like packets. a shaker no nope. not a shaker no, 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 no jack and doe's has a shaker jack and doe's is a lot more of a laid back place we're not there yet for lunch we're not there yet I want to talk about my AJ story. Go ahead with your okay. AJ story. I know this is your show, and I got things. <laughs> no, no, this, this is a little it's different right. when I'm not in my, uh, not in the office at home. I'm like, yeah, just <laughs> oh, go ahead. <laughs> so college, we'd always get AJ's. And so this past summer, a bunch of my buddies from college we had a reunion. The only thing they wanted to do was get a jumbo. So there's 15 of us sitting outside. That's the only thing they wanted to do. Yes. <laughs> that was it. Well, it's not, you know, there were some other things, but at the end of the day, they's like, hey, they all, all they want to do is get an AJ's jumbo and brought back in the room. Yeah. So that's right. But we used to get them like, we'd watch like football yeah. in the dorm. In the AJ's. Yeah. So, pizza and sports is, they go together very well. What, what's, what kind of pizza do they sell at the concession stands? I think it's Jack and Doe's. Jack and Doe's. Yeah. yeah. They got a corner on the market there. So, speaking of Jack and Doe's, we ready to. Well, first we got to rate. Yeah, AJ's. first, yeah. Ooh, do we want to rate? So, AJ's. Heavenly Pizza. Anyways. Um, <laughs> it's a very religious institution. So, is, we're not based, we're not comparing it to another pizza. No, we're comparing it to as a pizza itself. So, I guess if you've ever had a pizza that you think is the best pizza you've ever had, you can compare it. You know who's got a really good this? pizza? You forgot a sauce. Oh, oh yes, 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 That is like that's very really good. good, pizza. Really good pizza, yeah. and I've had pizza yeah. on five of the seven continents. And my wow. sauce. So you've had South American pizza, you know, pizza in Africa. It's so, so funny when you go to other places and you go to like Pizza Hut in South Africa. Yeah. It's, not, <laughs> it's not like Pizza Hut in the U.S. It's or like a hut with pizza. Or, well, no, not even that. But it's like like the stuff they put on it. Or like if you go to like uh, actually, you know, Pizza Hut in like China is pretty simple. Like Pizza Hut and like KFC are like the largest fast food places. Did yeah. after you made your comment about KFC being it was actually 1952, you said 1940s. But I'm not calling you out on your. It uh, said 1940 on the if side. If you watch on Amazon now, they have this History 101. Their first episode was about fast food. Oh, well, I'm not trying to fact check you, but you know it is the internet. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the internet. This is real life. <laughs> um, what were you gonna give it? Um, so starting out, okay, I really enjoy how fluffy the bread is. I like, I don't like a dense bread very much. Um, and I do really enjoy the sauce. I'm not a huge fan of the low amount of pepperonis. Um, so I'm thinking of all of the pizzas I've ever had. And based on what I think is a perfect pizza, I am giving AJ's an exotic Bahamas. 11F. 
13. Yeah. You know what? AJ's is not the best pizza I have ever had, but it's pretty high up there. So, because I, I'm not saying I'm as well cultured as you, but I've been to I'm Chicago. Definitely. I've had Chicago style pizza, and I really enjoyed that a lot. Yeah, no. it's a lot of sauce. It is a lot of sauce, and like, I've I've tried the Detroit style, New York style. You know, I, I've I've had my I've had my styles. What? Seeing that this isn't the best pizza I ever had, I'm not going to give it an exotic trash, but. I'm gonna give it an exotic Bahamas, but not because I'm copying Jimmy, but because yeah, you're an independent thinker. I'm an independent thinker. Yeah. I had my own reasoning. I like AJ's, so but I'm not quite. I sauce is probably an exotic trash for me, but <laughs> I'm gonna probably go. I'm gonna go an exotic Hawaii. Okay, it's a okay. ten. It's pretty no, good. It's not bad. Exotic Hawaii. Um, so again, I'm just worried how this is all gonna come back. And next time I order AJ, there's gonna be like, oh, there's gonna be no cap. You're the no guy. guy. You're the guy, guy that gave, gave us in Hawaii. He gave us Hawaii. Said the house. Yeah. All right. Now the uh, there is a disclaimer with the Jack and Does. If you watched the intro of the video, you know we bought this last night. We just added a variable. So yeah, and the reason that this variable is just gonna be negated is because I'm not gonna hold against them the fact that they don't open until four o'clock. Initially, I was gonna just. That's not Jack and Doe's, is it? No. Is that the one that you No, that's the one he dissected. Yeah. What are your siblings? I'll show, uh... <laughs> I'll show the Jack yeah, and Doe's. Yeah, Jimmy got all over that pizza. Much, bite. much thinner. Um, and pepperonis, pepperonis are on top. They're visible. And the cheese is definitely different. There is also a lot of grease. Yeah, the box is greasy as is. But it has also been sitting for... Yeah. It has been sitting for like. Okay. It's been less hours. than. You guys like 12 hours. Uh, I, I like it from the oven. <laughs> it's a little little sticky. It's alright. <laughs> you do get more. Those were the same size pieces, weren't they? I. This was 10 inches, I think? Yes, these are about 10 inches. But you get more okay. slices with the uh, Jack and Doe's because we only had six. Yeah. Well, it was interesting. Both these places had. I think there's an AJ. Wasn't there an AJ's in Finley? There's an. Yeah, or no, so they used to have like they usually say over it in uh, the last episode of podcast. There's one in. Is there another box? There's one in like Oklahoma. Just, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. one in Oklahoma, which is the one that's off. And Jack and Doe's. There's a Tiffin, Russell's Point, Urbana, and Kent. Urbana, Urbana, just like Kokomo, right? Urbana. Urbana. So I can visibly see the grease on this pizza. What again? We gotta you gotta realize it is. It is old, sort of, but not 12 hours old. So, Jack and Doe's story. Um, <laughs> so a Jack and Keep Doe's it appropriate, story, please. I can remember. So. I'm just so glad you guys haven't swore yet. I'm just, I, I'm just proud of myself. I don't usually swear in the video. Anymore. Jimmy, you swear so much. All right. Anyways, it's not in the video. Go on. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so my, Jimmy, do you have one off the top of your head? Because I'm thinking about one and I don't have one. Oh, my favorite was uh, one time I was in there. And I don't actually think I was eating with you guys because you guys didn't usually follow me to Jack and Doe's. I was eating with uh, like Robert Daniel. Oh, and, Robert! Uh, I was like, "Ha! You know, what'd be really funny is if I loosened the cap on the pepper." Oh, face. you're one of those. Well, I, I had consent from like Drake and some of them. They're like, "Yeah, that'd be funny, man." So we uh, we unscrew it a little bit. And Robert comes over. He goes to put some pepper flakes oh. on his pizza. He does Robert. And just, so yeah. you at AJ submerged his pizza. Yeah. In At AJ's, place. you didn't let a kid sit with you. kid sit with you, and then uh, Jack and Doe's, you're, you're twisting up the caps. I think you're a boy. I don't. No, I, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> might have. I'm, just I'm a, I'm a practical joker. <laughs> uh, Do you have an AJ or uh, excuse me, Jack and Doe's? So my Jack and Doe's story would probably be seven, the seven, time I, we one, were three, in boxes. line, oh. and I remember. I don't remember what Jimmy said exactly, but it was just so funny. And then that just made my pizza taste a lot better because I went in with a good Aww. attitude. Aww. But, yeah, Jimmy said something really funny, and it just made the experience there super great. Wow. Yeah. That was at lunch? Yeah. You chose to go there instead of AJ's that day? Sometimes, Jimmy chose to sometimes I would get there. Uh, they have a strong bully. They do have a good strong bully. They do have a really good bully. All right. So, looking at uh, – so did, we got to give them the doubt that it is – a little congealed, old. but it's fine. It's not always congealed, so. Not a lot of sauce. Oh, well, I was supposed to eat it. <laughs> definitely different cheese. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can definitely taste it. 
case of different cheeses. This does not have a lot of salt. So remember, it's a, it's a little different because it's a little old. What, the sauce just disappear? The no. sauce isn't going to disappear. It evaporated. <laughs> crust is different. Is the crust always curled up? Uh, it's only curled up at the end over here, see? No, it was. Because it's definitely crust a little thinner. Yeah. Which I don't mind because, you know, if you go to Domino's, you get traditional and, like, they have, like, a thin crust. I'm not a thin crust kind of guy. This is much better. I'm a thin crust kind of guy, honestly. You and your wheat grain, whatever. I'll be honest with you. Germ, I think my whatever. favorite pizza is, uh, my favorite pizza is a Domino's thin crust pineapple and pepperoni. This is uh, it's not bad. a really good Jack and Doe's pizza. I bet if we got it fresh, I'm gonna totally be honest. different story. I like this more this way than I think I would have fresh. Really? Definitely a different texture from the cheese I'm getting. This. It's, it's, you heated it up, right? I did. So when you reheat your pizza, do you heat it up to like where the cheese remelts just enough to? So, I just left it in the oven for 20 minutes, because we don't have a working microwave anymore. On your fancy pizza stove? Yeah, on my fancy pizza stove. You just put a box in the oven? No, I took it out of the box. <laughs> and I use spatulas to pick it up, so don't like be like, oh, your germs, but I use spatulas to pick it up to put oh. it back in the box. We're not exactly socially distant right now, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it on camera, but this is actually six feet between each person. For legal We're space. actually 12 feet tall. This one, edge is a little, little crispy. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can see what kind of pizza oven they have. Um, you can see it if you go in. It's on the right. Oh yeah. I could use some ranch right now. Marinara. Don't get it. Uh, <laughs> okay, we grab some. Um. I don't have a Jack and Doe story. Most of my Jack and Doe stories are <clears throat> my football games. Hmm. Or the football game concession stand. Or working in concession stands once in a while. I've been actually, no, I think one time during like a heritage festival, I went to Jack and Joe's. Actually, ate inside. Uh oh, yeah. But usually it's, uh, do they deliver? Yeah, they yep. do deliver. Funny, uh, AJ's is the only one that delivers out here. This is out here. I didn't yeah, this is delivered. really far out yeah. here. But yeah, AJ's is the only place in town piece. that delivers out here. So, pepperoni wise, more pepperoni, you think? Yeah, there's definitely way more, way more pepperoni. And are they the same size? It's the same. I, don't, um, they, I think they. We don't need to guess. I think it was. So it was an average of like two. You're going to need that. Honestly. Oh, yep, yep, right about the same size. I hope you washed your hands before you ate. Yeah, it is COVID season, you know. It's it's COVID season. Get your grimy pepperoni hands away from the pizza. They're roughly the same size. So you get about two per slice for AJ's. And, well, Jack and Doe's just has a better pepperoni Yeah, but there's budget. more. Three. Oh, wow. There's about three to four per slice. Oh, yeah. So Jack and Doe's, you get more bang for your buck on it. Uh, because these pieces well, cost the same amount. Oh, really? How much were they? Uh, $7. This was $8. Well, oh, that was $8. This was a dollar. This was $7. So maybe that dollar difference is what you're paying. Yeah, that's probably <laughs> this is the pepperoni difference. And that's the Jack and Doe's difference. Oh, my God. I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting sauce. <laughs> oh, John's. Difference isn't there like a pizza I, blender? I, I, Isn't it Shaq now? Didn't they get rid of Papa John's? Oh yeah, they got rid of him because he's yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll not touch on that. We had a discussion yeah. before we ate that things that we could, we could not say. So, um, is, can pizza be considered a breakfast food? Yes, breakfast, breakfast pizza. pizza. No, really I'm, good. I'm saying this. Oh, if you're a college student. You, you, don't never have, you don't even have to be a college student. You never had, you never had pizza for breakfast? I've, waken, I've, I've had breakfast woken up pizza, in the morning but never just pizza. like regular pizza for breakfast. You never just I woke have... up and had some pizza in the fridge? No, but if it's like 2 a.m., then I've had some pizza from the fridge. Well, that's the difference. Like, have you gone to sleep, woken up in the morning? And then wanted pizza? No. Oh, I do all the time. Yeah, I do that all the time, too. Whenever, anytime we get like a jumbo and like there's leftover pizza, I always eat Is it. Is that the go-to here? Jumbos? Oh, yeah, there's... Here's Six of us that live here. Yeah, yeah, my father really likes Jack and Doe's, but we we alternate quite a bit. We get AJ's pretty often. Well. Twice, I'd say once or twice. Yeah, not much more than that. Um, 
I had like three domino gifts for just kids. Because every time I donate blood, they give oh, me like two of them. <laughs> so I've got like six things. Oh, this is interesting. What? It's kind of spicy. Yeah, that little piece of those green. Might parsley, be an maybe. Italian parsley or oregano. They put, when you, they put green peppers in their sauce. They Somebody might. in town does, I think, they put green peppers. Oh, yeah, what is that? Hold on. It's like in the cheese. Oh, that is. Parsley? I think it's green pepper. Green pepper? Oh, that might be green pepper. I think it's green pepper. I think huh. we found the secret. We found the secret. We're finding secrets all I've over I've got so today. much sauce on my pants. I have so much grease on my fingers right now. Where is it? This is it's actually the best Jack and Do's pizza I've had because I'm actually enjoying this pizza. Is it because of the company? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone's here. It's, it's nice. Pizza out on the veranda, right? This, this slice has... The, I'm going to count these as halves. I just ate a slice of pepperoni. There's a pepperoni there, pepperoni there, and a pepperoni there. This slice had four pieces of pepperoni. Could you feel like you were left out because the AJ wasn't eating it? Mm -hmm. yeah. And I can taste the pepperoni almost. I couldn't taste the pepperoni on the AJ's. The sauce overpowered it. Really? Yeah. The, so, I feel like the sauce on the AJ's pizza, it's, it's definitely different. It's sweeter. It's sweeter, and I, I love that about the AJ's. But this is more of a classic sauce, I think. Like it's like a marinara. What yeah, I mean, more like, yeah. I remember, like as a kid, you'd buy like the Chef Boyardee pizza in a box. <laughs> and, like, I don't even like, know what that is. It was like just add water, like Chef Boyardee, oh. right? I think. I don't know how good it is. So you guys often make pizzas at home? Yeah. What do you use? Red Baron. No, I mean like actual, like you make your own. Yeah, I was gonna say oh. like, we don't make, we don't hand make pizzas. Uh, we we've used like biscuit dough before. I've seen the one where you get the naan. It's like the flatbread mm -hmm. naan and then you can make your own. Throw some sauce on there and some uh, tomatoes or some mozzarella. I always find that that's like, I don't want to say not worth it but by the time you've bought all the supplies it's like a dollar cheaper to just buy the Red Baron pizza. Yeah, the Red Baron pizza. Did Red Baron have a little square pieces of like, yeah. pepperoni? I think it's awful. <laughs> that's an abomination to the pizza world. I, feel like. I think you can put them in the toaster. I'm like, thinking of a toaster, like, with bread. Yeah. No, 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 no I think that. you can put it in a toaster. How big of a toaster? <laughs> I think you can put I'm not talking, like, I'm talking the single-serve slices they have. They have, like, little... But what all the... You mean a toaster oven or, like, a toaster, like, you make toasted? Well, like, I mean, I think you can put it in a regular toaster. Please don't try that at home. If you do, it's too much fun. Actually, I would encourage you to try that at home. Don't try that at home. But so you're talking about, like, is, is it already pre-cut? They, they sell like single serve little dishes, little single serve. Oh, like little circle ones? Yeah, little, yeah, little single and those go, But aren't they frozen? They go in the toaster? I, I put one in the toaster. I think before. you're telling stories. I, I put one in the toaster. Like, before. Nah, I need to see your data. I mean, it slides. I down. need to see your data. But because all this stuff. All this stuff <laughs> I, didn't, I wasn't like making pizza. Like, <laughs> but when all the, you think all the stuff would slide down? It did. But it still <laughs> cooked it. Yeah, but you can't. If all the stuff slides down to the bottom of the pizza, into the toaster, then what's the point of having the pizza? Yeah. Well, it didn't like come off. It just kind of like shifted. Did it stay in the directions when you put in the toaster? No, but there was. Then a... don't put it in a toaster. Yeah, but like it still cooks. What I'm saying is the toaster is the perfect heat to cook. No, I disagree. I disagree no. completely. No. What so, setting do you have your toaster? Yeah, really. seven. Out of what? Out of an exotic like... trash. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, my is toaster. Is your toaster in an exotic trash? <laughs> Whatever or a seven is. Or, or, I don't or, know or a Yemen. Um, Yemen. My <laughs> Yemen toaster. <laughs> well, did you guys ever, like, in elementary school, if you read enough books, you would get, like, a personal pan pizza from Pizza Hut? Yeah. They were, like, this big. Accelerated reading. I yeah. never told anyone about my reading. You never got an accelerated reading pizza? No, I went to a whole bunch of different schools, and they did different stuff. You never got a personal pan pizza from Pizza Hut? Nope. I got to be a, the gym teacher for a day. I got so many accelerated reading points. But you didn't get a personal pan pizza? No, they didn't give out food. Actually, they did. Uh, I got to have lunch with Mr. Baker. I would like to have lunch with Mr. Baker. I made it up <laughs> that high. It was Because um, during graduation, well, when you guys were graduating, during the stuff that you didn't see, we ordered pizza, but we got it from... Where did we get it? Napoli. No. Ooh. Where did we get the pizza from? Might have been Reed. No? I don't remember. Might have been AJ. We have a lot of pizza places. We do. I think we have like... Okay, well, let's see. Okay. AJ's, Napoli's, Reno's. Reno's, and then we have the two chains, Pizza Hut and Domino's. Domino's, Jack and Do's. Jack and Do's. Did I say Napoli's? Yep. Is four balls gone? 
No, no four, four balls. balls oh, four ball. I love four balls. You not like four balls? I like four balls. It's oh, really okay. good. You just gave me like a. I like the buffet, or the oh, smorgasbord yeah. as they advertise <laughs> Smorg- it as. Yeah. Um, is it only seven? I feel like I'm missing something. There used to be a Papa John's. Yep. Were you guys? It was up there. Uh, there used to be in East of Chicago. East of Chicago. Because the headquarters for East of Chicago used to be in Willard. Oh, really? Yep. Well, it is East of Chicago. So. But anyways, not too bad. I guess seven. So this is the downtown rivalry episode. I still don't. <laughs> but you're not going to throw Reno's in there as a rivalry? Not as a downtown rivalry, but not downtown. I think more people go to Reno's and like sit down and eat. Yeah, because they have uh, like pastas and stuff. Yeah, they, too, they got really, I mean. I've then, only had Reno's once, and I got a pineapple and uh, black olive pizza. Ugh. I got that from Deadpool. It's, yeah, it's sweet and salty, and it's actually really good. Yeah, um, I like. I think you might have been Fort Ball, I remember. Hmm? It might have been a Fort Ball pizza we got during, because we were there for like eight hours while you guys would graduate attendance. And, uh, we actually <laughs> have two Fort Balls. East and West, yeah. Yeah, so but we got a lot of pizza places because we're a college town. Yeah. Uh, I wonder how much, yeah, but they all, they all deliver. So when I was in college, we was at AJ's. For whatever reason, if you get a jumbo, you can beat a yeah, our jumbo, you can genuinely you can beat, beat 10 an army people. And then you jumbo. get the breadsticks, the cheesy breadsticks. Those are always good for me. That'll have to be a different episode. But you know what, though? Yeah, but like, you know who Napoli's has really good cheesy bread? I don't go to Napoli oh, too uh, often. Oh, Marco's. Marco's. Oh, how about Marco's? Marco's? That's eight. That's eight, eight. pizza places. That one's practically Marco's. downtown. We yeah. can, a lot of people go there for lunch, too. It's not too far to go. No, no, it's just like... Do they even sell pizza, though? For lunch, or is it just yeah, the chicken? I bet you say, no, they even sell pizza. I'm like, it is Marco's Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> no, during lunch. ling 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 I don't have to answer Marcos, that. Does Marco sell pizza? <laughs> Does Marco pizza pizza sell anymore. pizza? <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to call Marco's. <laughs> hey, do you guys sell pizza? <laughs> I'm going to get rained on. All right. Um, little rain never hurt anybody. Except, like, William Henry Harrison. Man, I did kill him. Well, do you think because the rain's coming in, you want to, we need to wrap this up, or? Uh, you worry, I mean, you want to move it? Well, we didn't do our uh, survey. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm good if you guys are good. Yeah, we can wrap this up real quick. And I think it's just going to, all right. It well, feels like a sprinkle, but. There you go, we'll let you go first. Oh, okay. This is, this is your awesome. This is my awesome house at my awesome show. No, I say it's your awesome uh, yeah, list. Yeah, awesome list. list. So, honestly, I'm going to have to give Jack and Does an exotic Kokomo. Which is lower than I gave uh, AJ's, but that's because I'm just I, I just really am not a fan of Jack and Joe's, honestly. Because the pizza it has a weird taste to me, like I get this weird taste in the back of my throat, and I just yes. Yeah, and again, it could odd. be the fact that it did sit for yeah. But even then, like when it's a fresh pizza, I don't really like it that much. Um, I really enjoyed this pizza, and I don't normally like Jack and Doe's that much. Um, the the cheese was like the the focal point of this, and I think it actually had an advantage from sitting overnight. I think it got better. So, if you ever want Jack and Doe's to be really good, buy it the night before. I'm giving this an exotic Jamaica, which is a twelve. Oh. Wow! I really wow. enjoyed the pizza. So what did I get the last one? Yeah. Uh, I, I kind of liked it. I would have, you know, it was, it sat for a couple hours, but it was, you know, Joey reheated on his awesome, amazing pizza stone. <laughs> um, <laughs> pizza stone. Does it have a name? No. Okay. Did he no. name the pizza stone? <laughs> it's got a face. I don't name it, name it, I'll give it to oh, Okay. <laughs> Anymore. Um, you know, that was Unless pretty it's good. Unless it's a stuffed animal. <laughs> um, it was pretty close to the AJ's. I like AJ's sauce, though. What I give the AJ's a Hawaii. Yeah, I'm gonna give us a Kokomo as well. Just one okay. below. Okay. So they're all exotic. I would order either one. Yeah. Um, but like I said, I'm, I like the AJ plus the jumbo. So you you were so it was you were Jack and Doe's. Yeah. For this time AJ's, specifically. AJ's. But neither both of them are pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Normally I would order AJ's. Uh, this is a very rare instance where I really enjoyed a Jack and Joe's pizza. But then I think it really does have to do with it being in the fridge overnight. <laughs> I think that made it better. You, you like cold pizza? I do like pizza cold. I prefer, like, if I get AJ's, I'll only eat, like, a slice or two when it's warm. And then I put the rest in the fridge. So what person from history, Joey, if you could have a slice of 
Zawith. Ooh. Who would it be? Mm. Now, this, here we go. This is my answer for everything, and it's Teddy Roosevelt. What about kind of pizza? He'd probably be a pineapple and ham kind of pizza. Honestly, I think he's a meat lover's pizza. You think? I think so. He was a really big hunter. Yeah, it'd probably so be like, I think he was a be big like bison and bald yeah. eagle. Bison <laughs> and bald eagle pizza. <laughs> huh. They weren't in danger then. <laughs> I feel like you got to pick an Italian. Why? Well, because does the type of pizza that you're eating depend on the historical figure? I have what? So, like, if I pick an Italian. Am I eating Italian pizza? Whatever kind of pizza you want. Because American pizza is very different than what you would get in yeah, Rome. Yeah. Um, gosh. <laughs> There's a lot of pizza. You could just sit down and have a meal with anybody and just have a pizza. Yeah. I think it'd be kind of cool to pick, like, a king. Just to have, like, a regular box of pizza king at this giant... Were you the one that kind of posted on Twitter about like who the greatest? Yeah, people? the greatest monarch was yeah, Queen, Victoria. Queen Victoria. Yeah, Victoria. No, I'd no, pizza with, with her. Right? I don't know if I would. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking more like a like a Henry the Eighth. He'd have been pretty cool. He was a big guy, I think but he, he liked the party. Off of a waiter, or you could just pick a wife, and it's <laughs> all pick a pizza, pick a pizza, pick a pizza, pick a wife. <laughs> That's King Henry the Eighth's way. Every every new slice is a new wife. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> what about you? That's tough. Yeah. Abe Lincoln. Abe Lincoln. I don't know about Abe. I feel like that dude was so sad all the time. He had so much yeah, going but on. You didn't have to talk about pizza and cheer you up. I don't know. I got off up there. Quit eject. So <laughs> that might be Joe. I don't know. <laughs> Let me uh, check. <laughs> nope. Well, a little complicated. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah. My, I guess yeah, Bob Dylan would be kind of cool. Psychologists would be the worst. Analyzing your pizza. Yeah, like the whole time. Like analyzing your dreams. <laughs> the whole time they're just, oh, what's going on with you? Man, I don't want to tell you. <laughs> yeah. What else? Um, How long is this? All right, well, it's starting to rain. Yeah. So and, I guess uh, it's going to wrap up this episode this of the Exotic Trash Food Review. Thanks for, for tuning in. I'm your host, Joey Simcoe.